Hello besiegers and welcome to my next video. Um, this one is specifically for a, a challenge, June challenge for Spiderling on their forums. Uh, ITR runs that. I'll put a link in uh, so you can have, go and have a look at it yourself. Um, and basically what they asked this month was that we build a maze and that it could take a little vehicle if possible and it didn't matter how big it was. Now this is big as you can see, it's pretty massive. Um, so it's a 3D three-dimensional maze um, with some puzzle elements to it and um, the idea is to get that little buggy over to the house and destroy the house hence the Volgon as in Volgon destructor fleet so this is a Volgon test um, now what you want to do is you want to drive the buggy through any of the chosen routes there's a number of routes there available uh, you just check them all out try them all try the one you think's best and see if you can get out of the compound and into the area that contains the house. That's it. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, when this part of the video finishes, um, I'm going to go straight into the solutions. Actually, I'm going to show you some of the things that you might have done wrong, and then I'm going to go to the solutions, but it'll still be a spoiler. So once you have seen this next upcoming uh, scene disappear, this one, when this stops, we're straight into the solution. So I recommend that you go download the, the BSG file, have a go at it and see how you get on. If not, then, and you're not going to download it or you just want to see it, then just stick around and have a look uh, at what it takes to get through the puzzle. Okay, here's how not to do it. Right, the first thing you may have been enticed by was the ramp with the pistons on it. I know I would have. Um, and it gets you up there, uh, but it's quite violent and you have to be on the button, right? So I got up just one time, hit it again, and I, oh, I just got on no more. But I wasn't right because I didn't have invincibility on. Tried again and I hit it hard as, as I was going up and I caught it and I got on. So it's totally doable. The trouble is, <clears throat> once, you, once you're inside that first level, and that's a bit of a second level, I would say, you need to drop that ramp like that. And you, every time you drop it, that uh, barrier will come down. So it's a no-go. Um, you can work that out by seeing it. Watch it. There's the barrier going down. Anytime you press V, that barrier, throughout the whole game, that barrier will come down. And that is the access to the, the next winning part of the game. So, okay, so that's out. So next thing is to run the back way. And yet what your uh, plan here is to go up this ramp, get caught by one of these grabbers. Remember, grabbers are bad anyway, so by that you know that now. But if you didn't know that, you try to get caught by one of these grabbers and... Yeah, in order to do that, you need to hit the accelerator and jump. There you go, and caught it. Now, when I release that, it, the buggy will get released, but so will the barrier. There you go, do you see it? I'll just show you that again so you can see. There we go. Swing it round and hit V and the barrier comes down. Game over. No way to win. Zero. There is a metal tunnel at the end here and you, it is possible to drive up through that to get to the, winning, the next winning part. But it's got a hole in it, uh, so you end up just back on the ground floor. So I'm just demonstrating how stuck you get here. Yeah, there you go. So that's it. That's how not to do it. So okay, so you've got three ways to do it, and there are three ways to attack it, and they're, they're all, they all fail. And that's the only three ways you can see, So, but there must be a way of doing it. Therefore, it must be hidden, and that's exactly what it is. It's a hidden doorway that takes you underneath the on-ramp. If you go here, and then go left, and then go through these braces, which you would think... Or telling you not to go, you actually do go through them, right? And then you use your little bumper at the front to open the secret door. See the secret door? That takes you under the on-ramp. Yeah, oh, a bit of a struggle, but it's not that bad. Keeps the on-ramp off your wheels, which is important because you can't get through otherwise. And then you go through the metal curtain and you're back into daylight. Then -da, you've made it. And the barrier hasn't dropped, right? So you spin around and you go back through. And this is where the fun starts. This is a good bit. Okay, so you toggle through, make sure you avoid these um, these swinging grabbers, because if one of them touches you, you have to hit V, game over. Right? Like we say, I can't say that enough. And there's the two grabbers from the barrier. Make sure you don't touch them either. So it's that central grabber you want. And it operates when you press H, but you have to get positioned properly, exactly underneath it. I didn't do it that time, so I need to move forward a tiny wee bit this time. <clears throat> And there we go. Doesn't matter what part of the buggy you get, it always manages to lift it. Press O to move that big gondola up in the top stage, forward. 
but not so much forward that it touches the thing at front. Then press seven and the the arm will lift the buggy all the way up and dump it. Don't you just love the seas? It's just such a great game. It is fantastic. And it dumps it there. When you press V, notice the barrier drops again, right? But it doesn't matter because you're on the other side of it. Um, okay, press P to bring the gondola back. There we go. And then obviously you drive onto it. So drive on, drive off type ferry affair. There we go. My favourite bit's coming up. I really like this next bit. Okay. And then obviously you drive forward, press O. And this time you catch that platform with the grabbers. Click and you push it forward past its like centre of gravity type thing. Drive onto it. Drop your little blade so that it sort of grips the edge. So you're not going to roll off. Yeah. There you go, just drop it, that's it, just right there. Then push forward and release the grabbers at the same time, and that gives it a shunt. There you go, like that, and it will float ever so serenely down to the ground. Just like that, it's the propeller that's keeping it up straight, and it's a parallelo ram braces that are holding it nice and upright. And away you go, and you're straight onto the house. But down, congratulations, you're a Vogon, and it clocks back straight up, because it was weight activated. It only sunk because of the weight of the buggy. Uh, and then you just go mad, doing things to the sheep in the house, and then go after the little peasant fucker, because he didn't pay his rent. And uh, that's it. So that's all there is to it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you downloaded it. Give me some feedback. And um, see you in the next video. Okay then. Bye.